Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mary and thanks for watching another one of my videos. So today's topic is uh, actually going to be related to Japan and I really wanted to talk about this because I think it's something that a lot of people who do live in Japan, especially if you're an expat, may struggle with and that is you know how to build a community here how to find friends and i think the best way to find friends is of course to go out there meet people and <clears throat> like go to events and stuff but then you're probably wondering but what are the good events like what are the fun events that i can naturally meet people while still having a good time not like uppity like networking or something like that so i'm excited to present you four top events that i think are great for expats to go to to make friends and have a good time and you know they're good if they get me out of the house because i'm a homebody uh so stick around uh till the end to hear all four of those events so the first event that I highly recommend to check out if you are in Tokyo is actually <laughs> a pretty funny a pretty funny name and it's called Tokyo Love Hotels. Uh, so I actually have the Instagram uh, open. I'm going to show you their Instagram account. Okay, so we're on here on Instagram and Tokyo Love Hotels is the first one. So I actually follow them. And funny enough, I only discovered um, I only discovered them because my friend Rebecca, she kind of recommended it because her friend recommended it to her. And we actually both went together to their event like maybe two months ago, and we had such a great time. So he, this is the event that we went to. It was, when was it? It was, yeah, it was back in August 3rd, and it was phenomenal. Like when I say it was really fun, it was really fun. Like even just from the pictures, you can kind of see, you know, the, the vibe that it has and everything like that. I really like Tokyo Love Hotels actually is because it really felt like I was in an LA penthouse party um, so the location is in um, Sankey's penthouse which is between Harajuku and Om Omote Sando just about and at first we got lost we were like where is this random place because it doesn't look like a party scene at all it's like really just normal buildings but then you go up and it's like a whole new world like a secret party and it was live like it was so hype uh, in the beginning it was a bit slower because you know it, it started at 5 p.m. which I like because I actually like it when parties start earlier because that means you can go home early and make this last train so it started at 5 p.m. but I would say things really picked up around seven or so and yeah the music hip-hop like actual hip-hop you know what let me stop talking just watch the video watch the clip As you can see in that clip, it was like, woo, woo, like what, what? And everybody was so nice and so international and, you know, and I saw a lot of black people. <laughs> I know that may sound weird, but honestly, I've never seen a place where so many black people were together and gr like, like black girls, you know, black guys. Because black guys, you normally see around, doesn't matter. But black girls as well, it's like, whoa. So legit, I was telling my friend Becca, like, it feels like we're at an LA party. Everybody was dressed to the nines, like, so nicely dressed. And the DJs were awesome. And I also liked that it was a pretty, you know, it was a reasonably priced party. It was only about 1,500 yen, which is equivalent to maybe $15 or so. So yeah, not bad at all. And you can we like it ended around 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. So we got home by the end of the last train. So I was just like, you know what? This is the party to be. I I'm definitely going again. Like they have a they have a, their next event coming up in uh, two weeks or so. So like yeah, we're definitely going. Oh actually, maybe in a month or something. But yeah, we're definitely going. So if you're in Tokyo and you're looking for a like hip hop party where you can talk to cool people and just have an awesome time without worrying about missing your last train, check out Tokyo Love Hotel. 
So the next event that I really enjoy to go to uh, that you may have heard of before is actually called the Melanated Files Family Event. And this is run by Ranzo, who is the organizer for the event and he has his own channel. And like, it, it's, just, it's just an amazing place. So let's go to his Instagram channel as well. Let's go to his uh, Instagram page as well. I think it was called Black Experience Japan yeah so the black experience japan regularly runs um i think they actually just started like maybe three or four months ago where they run events and what i really like about it is that it's all about family so even just look at the pages the title of the event is literally called family and it, it's free food good vibes chill people and things like that i really do like this so i've been to this event twice uh the very first time they started and then i missed the second one and then i went to the third one so which was maybe about two weeks ago or something like that and i really enjoyed this event because one you get to meet like-minded individuals uh of course it's called the black experience japan like channel and you and the event is more likely geared towards people of color however that does not mean that just because if you're not a person of color doesn't mean you can't join in the very first event we had uh people who were not of color but they still came because they had the same thoughts as us like they want to get to meet new people and you know build that community and think of how can we do things together to make a better space for black individuals of course that's not like only the main topic but that's you know kind of like the general undertone that um i would say uh that event is is, is for so it's really it's it really does feel like family like the two times i've been there i've talked to so many interesting new people that i never knew before and we just got to talk and learn about each other and i also ranzo does amazing work with somehow bringing out the talent of each person because a lot of the participants like a lot of people who come to the event they're talented we had singers we had rappers we had um spoken word and this was all free event like no cost to us plus there was good food like really good food I, I think i have a clip i can show you of literally us just like snatching up the chicken <laughs> that ranzo's wife jay made because whoo mm, it, it was good okay so yeah so the food is amazing the, the people there are amazing and it's more low-key it's actually it's a limited amount of seats so you actually have to rsvp to be able to join that event um and so there's only about 20 people but that means that because it's less amount of people you really do get to know most of the people there we have a chance to actually introduce ourselves say you know what we're about and then sp speak from there so if you're in tokyo and especially if you're somebody who either has watched the melanated files on youtube and you really like what ranz is doing and want to you know be part of the community more and actually meet him or meet the people then go to that event go when there's free chicken, you gotta get that chicken, <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> And go to the family event. Um, I I try to go as well. I have been interviewed on his channel, a eh? <laughs> so I I do go to that event, and that's where was where I actually met one of my subscribers. Shout out to him, <laughs> who who funny enough. Um, it was a, it was the most funny thing because it was the second time I went to the event and he was and I was already sitting down talking to some people there and the, uh, the subscriber just walks in and he's like I know you and I'm like uh how he's like I watch your channel I was like oh my god somebody actually watches my channel 
<laughs> so that was the first time I ever met a subscriber like in in the wild. So go to the event. You can meet a lot of cool people. Um, third event that I I highly recommend to check out if you really want to build a community and meet new people is an event called Speak Easy. Now I really like Speak Easy because it's it's a dancing event. It's, it's an event where people come together to actually dance and you will get to meet a lot of good dancers like I'm you could so the difference between Tokyo Love Hotels and I would say Speak Easy is that Tokyo Love Hotels for anybody it doesn't matter if you're like a good dancer or not it's like really just having a party have a good time Speak Easy is also for anybody it doesn't matter if you're a good dancer or not however the amount of people who go there who can dance is probably way higher like these like a lot of b-boys and it's really like alternative music but it's fun it's lively it's different so I, that's why i like to check it out every now and then i've been going to it fairly regularly since like last year so i've probably gone like four times or so um and i really enjoy it i really enjoy it i was actually introduced to it by a uh, b-boyfriend I made I think at a meetup I went to so he first introduced me to it and then uh, we we went together like once but after that I would just be going alone or with my friend Rebecca usually <laughs> and things like that so I think speakers is really cool if you like to discover new music because it's not the typical hip-hop music that I loved in like Tokyo Love Hotels but the music can still be kind of cool <laughs> nice is that they change their venue regularly so they they always show up in different locations like sometimes they'll be in ship yeah sometimes they'll be in shibuya sometimes they'll be in a uh in a random place in tokyo sometimes they'll be in yokohama so they change it up and i like that because you can go to a new place and check it out especially normally if you don't have the chance to go there so check out speak easy uh it's on facebook I don't know if they probably have an Instagram account, but it's on Facebook. So maybe let me see if I can bring it up for you guys here and then you can see it on Facebook. So I don't even have Facebook, the app. I have to always go to the web browser, but let me see if we can find Speak Easy. Yes, so Speak Easy Kyo, well, stand for Tokyo. And yeah, you can find it here. So definitely check them out. I think they're amazing. They do. You know they do really cool stuff like it, it just I, I even wrote a review that's how that's how you know i really liked it because i literally wrote a review and i said always brings out a great community of people with great vibes great dance moves just looking for some fun must check out uh go by your go by yourself or bring a friend everyone is welcome so yeah speak easy is really also it's cool because it's monthly so it always happens regularly so you can definitely if you miss one month you can go to the other month um not all events are monthly like melanated files family event is monthly so that's also nice uh the tokyo love hotel one is bi-monthly so try you have to actually try to catch the event so finally the last event that i really want to recommend if you want to kind of meet new people and have a blast is actually the tokyo pub crawl now i don't know i, I know not all over the world pub crawls are popular like in toronto i don't think we really have a pub crawl culture but i first discovered pub crawl in tokyo maybe a year ago i think i went by myself and it's awesome <laughs> it's, it's definitely more party party drinking type of um vibe as compared to like my other suggestions but that doesn't mean it's bad because it's run by organizers so there are people there to kind of take care like at least watch out for you but they're also there to get you drunk and like to make sure that you're going crazy uh, but that's not necessarily a bad thing uh, because it attracts a lot of people who want to have fun who want to laugh meet new people and just you know have a blast so pub crawl pretty much it's like two three times a week so it's, it's it's the most regular event that you can pick to go to uh probably more popular times are the friday and saturday ones and it usually attracts a large amount of expats or international people uh, when you go there you'll probably be like 70 percent expats or international people and what i like is that what i really like about pub crawl is that you move around so you start in one pub and you do uh they kind of the organizer does the hey welcome everything like that 
and then you you hop around to different literally you crawl around to different pubs and then you end up in a uh, club or in a party <laughs> That's nice because as you're walking you naturally are t like talking to the random Joe beside you like hey what brought you here like hey yeah so much fun right oh the last pub was like whatever like oh the next one I heard is really cool yeah and they actually also do small games to try and get you to interact with people so even if you're a bit shy uh, well, you know once you have a little alcohol and then you there's an actual game so a reason for you to be hugging random people like literally the last pub cry I went to they had us hugging people you didn't know like that was the game it, it naturally brings out that more extroverted side of you so it's really fun and it's not too bad of a price either it's like I think if you do the early bird tickets it's about 1,500 yen uh, so again about fifteen dollars for girls. For guys, actually, it's a different price. It'll be, it's a bit more expensive at two thousand yen or so, or maybe two thousand five hundred. So about twenty to twenty-five bucks. But it's actually very reasonable because you get free drinks in each uh, pub you go to, and then free entry into the final club at the night. The only negative is that it starts late and it ends late. Like it, like if you want to stay until the very end you'll probably miss your last train and then you know your party until 5 p.m and i i don't particularly want that so usually i the first time i went i stayed out all night it was nice but then the second time i went recently we we went at 7 30 and then we, i left at like 11 30 so you can get seven eight nine ten and you can get a good four hours of fun in and then be able to black like, dip out so i really like that i think pop is a great place for people who really want to Get into that like party and still meet people and still meet people. Hope you guys enjoyed the my four suggestions of awesome events you can go to in Tokyo where you can meet awesome people and have a great time. When I first came here, I didn't know where to go. I was going to like just language meetups and they're okay, but eh, it really is a hit or miss. But these four events. Mm, guaranteed one you'll at least have a great time two you'll probably meet a lot of cool people and then three like it's reasonably priced like i'm cheap so <laughs> it's reasonably priced so you, you're not gonna be breaking the bank just to go out so uh if you like that please hit the like button as always you know smash it up <laughs> smash the like button uh comment below which one is your favorite event or which one you would want to go to or if you do live in japan what events do you suggest i should go to or uh meetups or things like that i should go to because i am always looking for you know a, a new place to kind of be checking out regularly and finally what are you doing bro like just subscribe you know help a girl out you want to help me the show <laughs> the show <laughs> but yeah so thank you so much i hope you enjoyed the video it was your girl mary from japan bye